Hi Georgia Burns here. Today I'm continuing with the male family cards and today we're going to make one for Uncle. Let's see. Uncle. To a wonderful Uncle. Happy birthday. To this I'm using a retired stamp to do the tools which is nail it. I think it's quite my uncle was very, um, or one of my uncles was a handyman, so, um, yeah, I think it's quite, quite appropriate for a man. All right, the stamp sets I'm using, using a few on here. Waterfront, and I'm just using them scattered dots. Big on birthday, and I'm just using the happy birthday. Family party. This is a new one in a um, in the new catalogue, and I'm using to a wonderful, which is here. Uh, the inside I've put awesome at any age. At any age, so I'm using that one. For the background, I use this from Love What You Do, and the nail it stamp set and this I'm going to be using the saw the what's that a spanner the screwdriver hammer and the nuts and screws which I haven't got out actually uh, screw nut don't know if I've got any blocks left I've got loads of blocks going on this one so let's get them out of the way the card base or the cards you need is a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at one four and one eighth folded in half and burnished I've got a um piece of card at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside and I've got a piece of card that was five and five eighths by three and seven eighths but I put it with a um, same size knight of navy and I chopped the corners off and I'm going to add the knight of navy corners to my white card stock just to get this decoration rather than use a whole piece of like navy so that's how I've done that and then you need a piece of scrap card to stamp all the tools out now I have already stamped the tools coloured them and cut them out and I've also done the word uncle I cut that out three times. Let's put it on a white piece of card. I cut that out three times and stuck it all together. That the reason why this is a die cut is because on the family party there's a niece and a nephew, but there's no uncle or auntie. So I've had to use die cuts for my uncle and you'll see next week the auntie one. In that very old stamp set I've got of stamping up for my family, they do have an uncle in here. Um, where is it? It's there. But it's quite small. It is there. So that's why I've chose to use a die cut. Right, well, we shall start with the background on this bit. Let's get rid of this. And we need our scrap for the tool. So, to start with, what I did, I got the Love What You Do background stamp and some army blue ink. 
and a scrap piece of paper as you can see inked it up stamped it off and then stamped it in the middle like that clean it put it to the side right next don't need that anymore I got the scatter dots from Waterfront and Night and Navy ink and I just scattered some dots around like that Clean this stamp. That's all I use Night and Navy for. Right, with my black first fine, I will add the words to a wonderful uncle. Right, I'm going to stamp upside down because it's nearer. Right, to a wonderful. And then we should pop the word uncle under there. All right, and then the word happy birthday. Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. I've got the wrong stamp out. Let me. Got it's your day out instead of happy birthday. Put that way properly afterwards. And I should pop the word happy birthday down the bottom here. Like that. Clean this down. Alright, and now we want these screws and nuts. So this is a screw which I going to just randomly stamp three screws on and do the same with the nuts and I've just over stamped that that's all right the tools will hide that Right, get that aside and we will stamp our tools. Don't worry, these won't go to waste. I'll just cut them out and stick them in my box of maybe one day I'll use them. I've no doubt what to make some more mail cards in the future so no, do it, no, do it that way. so there's my mail stamps I'm good at over stamping today Clean all them up properly 
straight afterwards. I just don't want to lean over and put my hand in them. Right. I think that's all our stamping. So, what I did with these, I got my pale grey and I didn't colour these in all. All I did was light strokes of light smoky slate. I did the strokes because if they're silver and they're shining, it looks like little um, lines. So that's what I've done with these. Little tiny gaps I've left between them. And it looks like they're shining. Not big gaps. Just do rough Don't think about it, you do it better than you do when you think about it. And this bit usually silver. For the screwdriver, oh, I knew that would happen. I don't think the yellow no, that don't work that on. Let's see if I can. No. My daffodil delight does that all the time. Let's do it in pineapple punch. When I don't want to use that, the lid will come off. Told you. I should have sent it back when I first got it. Because it's been doing it ever since I got it. But I manage. Then I coloured the strips, wide strips in basic black With soft suede, I coloured the handle of the sword, sword, sword.
this bit of the hammer. And I also covered, coloured the handle of the hammer black. Many gum these colours are by what's in my husband's toolkit. And then I cut them all out using the dies from uh, Nailed It. That's all them away. And I got these, which we'll use, and I'll cut them out later and put them in my box. And these have all got to have. Um, except that that doesn't have dimensionals on them so so I think I put three on the body and I put two little ones on the handle and one there the screwdriver had how did I do this? no I think I cut them in half Need another little bit. That's where I cut the first one. Uh, that'll do that. And then with this hammer, I put one right on the bottom. And one of these at this end. Yeah. And one in the middle. And that rests over the top. Right. Let's leave them there just in case. I never stamped inside. I'll do that in a minute. Right, grab our main piece and our glue and we're going to glue this on. normally do and then grab our corners making sure we've got the right corners at the right end because they're not both the same size because I just didn't measure just randomly cut the corners so I don't want to waste a whole bit of um, blue card. Just cut yourself a square, you know, big enough for that. Put it behind it and then cut both together. 
and do the same this side. I should have left it and showed you how I done it. Right. And place our tools on. Hide that boobib and then that will go over like that and that will go like that and that needs a little a small dimensional right there in the middle so let's put our saw on first And our screwdriver. Hide in that boo boo. And I've just pulled that off. on set the backs of the hammers or hammer and place a little bit of glue on the point and on the body and then we're just going to place that there and that's going to go like that there. And put a bit of glue there. Do I take that off? Yeah. And then with the word on call, all I did was Put little tiny dots on the back and place that There, that looks all right, doesn't it? So we'll bring the inside bit in and we'll stamp this bit with our black ink. And we'll stamp that in the middle and I bet it's not straight. It is. With our ink, And that's our uncle card done. I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you haven't already, uh, please press the bell icon and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday, but for the male family series card, it is this week it will be Monday through to Saturday. 
So hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. And all I can say is thank you for visiting.